words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to the Essence of Man Power Speech. We are on day 158, and today we're going to talk about between God and man. Now, uh, let's read Psalms 34, uh, verse uh, 13 and 14. It says, Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Evil speech. But listen to what it says, Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So notice what it says. And the verse I want us to focus on is, Depart from evil and do good. Um, the fear... Or to depart from evil and do good and then seek peace. Um, there is a distinction... And a huge difference, okay, between between reward and punishment, and especially when it comes between God and man. Let me give you an example. In the world to come, this is when we begin to see God's punishments towards man or judgments, okay? Yet here on earth, we can see immediate judgments, but that comes from man. Um, and so with God, it, the, the judgment is what is to come because God gives man time to repent. Let me give you an example. A man, if he commits murder, he is punished immediately, but is he going to be punished in the world to come? Well, it depends on if he gets forgiveness of his sin and that, you know, and and, and makes the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the, the, his, his Savior and Lord. There's many things that people have done who aren't believers. And they get in trouble and they, they find God and they repent and they turn from their ways, but yet they're still dealing with earthly punishments here on this earth. In this verse, the term evil and good refer to matters between man uh, and his fellow man. Uh, so, when we talk about don't speak evil, guard your tongue, uh, don't speak evil, and, and then the next verse where it says, turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. What it's actually referring to is towards man, don't do evil by speaking evil. Do good by speaking good things. And then find peace and pursue it. Find the, find the, the words that would cause peace and pursue that. I don't know how many people have a social media account, but most people do. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity where you may have wanted to say something, okay? Uh, especially when you know what you've read is wrong. But sometimes it's best to pursue peace or seek peace and pursue it by just scrolling on. Okay, if you've ever if you've ever commented on a post and, and, it, and it just just went like wildfire, next thing you know it, there's this huge argument. Well, that's that's not seeking peace and pursue it. Next thing you know, you know, uh, social media unfortunately seems to be a breeding ground for Lashawn Lesha Hora. 
However, uh, let's take this example. All social media is, is something that is written down that we see that's been going on in humanity for a long time. It's just something we see being done now. It's words that we see, yet we've been doing these things with our mouth for, for, for decades, long before social media ever came. And so just like in a social media platform, uh, don't do evil, do good. Don't, don't slander somebody, speak evil against somebody, gossip about somebody. And the second thing is find peace and pursue it. Don't get in a situation verbally, whether social media or not, that puts things in a place where uh, peace between a, your fellow man um, can be destroyed. And you find yourself at odds with one another and you find yourself in unforgiveness towards one another and you find yourself in a place that where you used to be friends you're no longer friends which you know there's a lot going on right now all because of a lot of miscommunication you know I find unfortunately the news sometimes is a breeding ground for miscommunication and there's many kind of news out there, many kind of news sources out there. And so I, I've learned to do this, just not to believe it till I have more facts and not comment and on it at all most of the time anymore and, and not make a judgment till all the facts are in. It's like I've mentioned before, there's sometimes we've seen things on a video through the news media and we thought oh boy that was horrible look they're to blame for it and then when the whole story comes out the damage is already done but come to find out the guy didn't do or the person didn't do anything at all what was led to believe that they'd done and 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 so you know we we've caused damage to the fellow or the person and so sometimes in finding peace and pursue it the best way to find peace and pursue it is just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. So there are things and repercussions that we have to deal with human, but yet those same things that we do, if we speak evil, eventually, when the world to come, we reap judgment as well. So there's the judgment that is this earth between man, there's a judgment. But, uh, between man and God if not repented so this is what we mean by between God and man so the bottom line is turn from evil and do good one should approach every deed in the way that he approaches the deed uh, towards God in other words the things that we do towards man we're also doing towards God so it's important to think of it that way. Okay, hey, we'll see you next time on The Essence of Man, The Power of Speech. Have a good one.